Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Mix. This week, I started off with some more concept art for our character. I was originally interested in the crank turning concept and was ready to animate the character, but... Oh... Anyways... to actually sculpt out this concept in Blender before realizing I hated it, so I rolled back to square one and started moving forward with a new idea. The task was simple, a beveled cube with a keyhole cut out of the front. I was shocked by how many ways this went wrong. What does Boolean even mean? At one point I thought I was finished. To try things out, I loaded up the model in Substance Painter, and... <gasps> These are unusable! Fortunately, Blender has a smart UV tool, so I clicked a button and let the computer just do the work for me. Love that. Once that was done, I got back to it and applied an animation from Mixamo to our keyhole-headed friend and embarked on the great journey of cloth simulations. To do this, I employed the use of the program Marvelous Designer. Now, you're supposed to start your character in a T-pose, but I didn't know how to do that, so what resulted was a long episode of trial and error. After significant failure, I bit the bullet and actually learned how to blend the animations. I had no faith in myself to actually be able to figure this out, so the moment was both shocking and wildly gratifying. Alright, I mean, I literally wrote it down in the script that I didn't know how to do this, but we're gonna try it. And if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to come up with a different plan. But I think I figured out how to blend the Mixmo animation with a T-pose. Never done this before.
Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. As for importing the animations to be clothed, I ran into two issues. One, my animation broke entirely. Nope. Returning to Blender, I applied rotation, whatever that means, exported as an alembic, and this for whatever reason fixed it. Nice. Secondly, my simulations looked like garbage, which I eventually figured out was due to the fact that my model was 12 inches tall. So I fixed that and got some very satisfying looking simulations to the dismay of my flaming GPU. After a bit more fiddling, we had our character. So that's that. As for our character, there's still some touching up to do, and of course the work of texturing, but for now, I think we've made some good progress, despite the multiplicity of glitches along the way. Next week comes the main work in Unreal Engine 5 and some lovely environment design. Be sure to subscribe and see how that happens to turn out. In the meantime, thanks for watching and stay creative.